Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for September the 5th. I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy, and after that I'll be pulling one card for each sign, and we'll see how those energies all meld in together. Let's check our overall energy. Okay, that comes up as the Four of Swords. So Four of Swords talks to me about um, taking some type of break that is not one that we chose to take as much as it's a break that there's some type of um, exterior, external influence that is keeping us from doing everything that we would normally be doing. Now, the positive side of this is that it does give us a chance to think some things over that we would not normally have time to think over. So we come out of this with an updated perspective on some things going on in our lives. Okay, so let's take a peek at each sign and see how this works together. Knight of Wands coming up in reverse with the Four of Swords in the overall energy. So Knight of Wands is, is telling me that um, you basically, a lot of times, you are going around putting out fires, uh, not literally, but figuratively, you know, um, handling this problem, that problem, the next problem, the next problem, the next problem. And it can be really hard for you to focus on what are the priorities that you actually want to spend your time on. And so when the Four of Swords comes into play here on the overall energy, I think you're getting a break from all this scattered energy running around putting out fires. You're getting a chance to really think about what are my priorities so that when you come out of this forced downtime, you have a sense of direction um, that you're going to be moving towards. So um, I think this is, you know, this looks like to me this is going to be an improvement in your life, Aries. So we like that. Taurus. Okay, you guys have the Six of Cups coming up. In reverse, I think that there's been some things going on in your life, Taurus, that just haven't been making you feel all that great. And um, I think, actually, I'm picking up that they've kind of been making you feel icky. They're just not um, authentic or have integrity. And so with the overall energy being the Four of Swords, I think you're taking a break from those and trying to figure out how can you extricate yourself more fully from whatever that is that's giving you that icky feeling. Now let's look at Gemini, Six of Swords, Six of Swords, yep, okay, so Gemini, this is telling me that, I'm not sure if you're, um, if you're taking a break on purpose or not, usually this is not, but with the Six of Swords, that makes me question that. I think that you may be taking a break because you've decided that it's time for you to take a break because you want to move away from drama and you're moving away from drama and into a little bit more calm and peacefulness, possibly even a lot more calm and peacefulness today. Next up, we're looking at Cancer, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so Cancers. Ten of Pentacles to me, it talks about something that is stable, that is secure, that is steady, it's well grounded. All right, and with this Four of Swords coming up, there's something going on that is causing you to um, not be able to participate fully in uh, that stability. So there's something going on that's taking you away from that stability. This is not something that you chose, um, and also it's short term with the Four of Swords, it's a short term. Uh, downtime that is keeping you away from that. All right, next up, let's look at Leo. Leo, Leo. Okay, so Leos, you guys have the Seven of Swords showing up in reverse. Excuse me while I take care of this cat, please. Sorry about that interruption. Let's get back to Leo here. So Seven of Swords showing up in reverse with the Four of Swords. This is basically telling me that there's something that you have been trying to get back to um, that you had been a part of that you had left before. And I think that um, you're not, that is not something that you're working on today with that Four of Swords uh, showing up here. You're not working on trying to get back on that. You're taking a break from trying to get back to whatever this might happen to be for you, Leos. And it's going to manifest in different ways for different ones of you. Okay, next up, we're looking at Virgo. So Virgos, you guys have the Seven of Cups showing up here. Ba -ba -da -da -ba. 
Virgos, I think that you've got a lot of options in front of you and people are wanting you to make some choices on these options. It looks to me like it's overwhelming to you and you're just kind of taking a break from people. You're stepping back from them with this energy. You're stepping back from them. You're saying, you know what, I can't process all of this with all of you guys in my face trying to tell me what you think. I need to take a break. So I see you taking a break, stepping back and giving yourself a chance to think things over here. Next up, we're looking at, that was Virgo, now we're looking at Libra. Five of Pentacles, Libras. Okay, so Libras, there's something going on here where you're feeling like um, you're taking a break that you were not expecting to take a break because you're a little bit short on the cash flow. And so just holding back and kind of waiting until you can get that back under control doesn't mean that you don't have any money, but whatever this is that you're trying to accomplish, you don't have money for that right now, okay? So holding back, just kind of waiting, letting this um, letting this time pass. This Four of Swords is, is just a temporary thing. So knowing that there will be uh, plenty of money at a certain point, it's just not this moment, okay? That's for Libra. Next up, we have Scorpio. Ho, ho, ho. Four of Pentacles showing up in reverse. What is going on here? So two fours. This has to do with setting a, sound, a foundation. Ba -ba -da -da, ba -ba -da -da. Okay, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Do, 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 do. There's oh, so much stuff is hitting me so fast. I'm just trying to sort through and pick what is the biggest energy here. It's kind of interesting what's coming up for us Scorpios because um, with that Four of Swords, it really talks about not doing everything that you would normally want to do or normally be able to do. But with the Four of Pentacles, it talks about pouring out energy on something else. So I think we are pouring out energy. I just think we're pouring it on to something else. And maybe we're pouring that energy onto something else because we do have a forced downtime with this energy somewhere in our lives. So that gives us time to pour energy into some other portion of our lives today. Interesting. It's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out. I would love to hear you guys' comments on that because that's a little bit of a I'm not even sure I have examples for that one. All right, let's look at Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, Four of Swords, along with the Two of Wands in your own uh, signs energy. So this is interesting because with the Four of Swords, you've got some kind of forced downtime that's happening here, allowing you to think things through, and you're realizing that you have some choices in front of you and that it really they're all good choices you know there's not really a bad choice but you do have some choices in front of you about what you're going to be doing with your time and with your resources in general and I think that you didn't I think that's been the case I just don't think you realized that before you got this downtime all right so that's for Sagittarius next up we're going to look at Capricorn okay so for Capricorns Four of Swords in the overall energy with a world card in reverse. I think with those Four of Swords, you do have some kind of forced downtime, not something that you actually chose, but that you're not really in a position to do everything you would normally do. With this world coming up in reverse, I feel like um, even though this is allowing you to think things through that you normally don't have time to, this world in reverse says, this is not your ideal. <laughs> this is kind of an uncomfortable situation, actually, Capricorn, to have this forced downtime. It's not terrible. The world in reverse is very close to the ideal. It's just not quite there. So this isn't a terrible thing, um, but it is a little bit uncomfortable, and I feel like it's a little bit frustrating for you. Next up, we're looking at Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius. Wheel of Fortune showing up in reverse. So Wheel of Fortune in reverse is just telling me that you kind of have a situation where things aren't going as good as you would like them to do. And now you have this forced downtime coming in as part of the collective energy for overall. And I think that you're having some kind of forced downtime that you did not choose. It's giving you time to think about what's going on here. Why aren't things moving smoother? 
in this area where things seem to be going rough. So I think that this is giving you a chance to sort of rethink processes and how things are happening and kind of get a, an idea about different ways to come out, whatever this is that you want to move smoother. So that forced downtime is really going to allow you to recalibrate on whatever this is that's not going too well. Although I think when you first find out about the forced downtime, it's going to be really frustrating until you realize, you know what, I can use this time productively. Once you figure that out, then you'll be okay. Next up, we're looking at, who was that? That was Aquarius. Yep, now we're looking at Pisces. Okay, so Pisces, we have the Devil card and Reverse, Force Downtime and the Overall Energy. So Pisces, uh, this thing is screaming at me that, you know, you've been working, 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 burning yourself out. And this Force Downtime is actually a breath of fresh air for you, even if it's not exactly the vacation you would have dreamed of. <laughs> but it does allow you to recover a little bit from that burnout, and it allows you to revitalize yourself somewhat as well. Okay, so that's what I have for everybody. Thank you all so much for being here. I do appreciate that. And of course, if you found this beneficial, put a thumbs up on the video. If you think somebody else might find it beneficial, please share it. And of course, I would love to hear your feedback in the comments. So everybody have a fantastic day. Peace out.